It's a word dream. It's a word dream. No, it doesn't matter if he is. Uh, yeah. It doesn't matter. I said that it did happen to the Prophet himself when he awoke up after Fajr and found himself in, in a case of uh, impurity, sexual impurity. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. فالآن باشروهن وبتغوا ما كتب الله لكم. I just read the ayah. Now you can approach your wives and seek what Allah ordained upon you. That's after the you break your fast. You break your fast already. Not just from from eating and drinking, from any any from sexual activity also. You know. <coughs> A nursing mother, if the mother did not fast because of the delivery or sickness, she has until next Ramadan to make it up. She has until the following year to make it up. However, if she still cannot do it or she was worried about her baby because she is unable to, you know, uh, give him enough milk, uh, then she has to pay a ransom for every day she missed. This is a great concession from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Violation of expiation. What happens if you are, you know, doing the expiation, the kafara, and you violated that kafara? For instance, the man that, uh, that uh, had uh, sexual intercourse with his wife, and, uh, you know, he is, for instance, because he did not do any of these things, but suppose that he, he went with the kafar, the 60 consecutive days, but he violated, you know, even in the day 59. Okay, <laughs> in the day 59. Okay, he violated the expiation. Imam Ahmad and Al Shafi are in agreement they both are in agreement that in the case of intercourse, if the person broke his fast during the expiation, he has to start all over. He has to start all over. Unless he has a legitimate excuse, such as sick or traveling, sick or traveling then he has to make up for that day, okay, or days, and go back and continue with the expiation from where he stopped. The last question about the the uh, uh, they call it, what do they call it in English? Uh, no, no, they call it, uh, ma, ma, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That black thing that women put in their eyes. Applying, uh, yeah, eyeliner, eyeliner, they put eyeliner also. Applying this uh, eyeliner or eye drops or anything else to the eyes. Now, the situation with the eyes, would it validate or invalidate, I mean, would it invalidate the, uh, the Siam? Put the outer, the cough, this one. It doesn't go to the stomach. Huh? Uh, should not. Imam Sayyid Sadaf, Imam Sayyid Sadaf was the, uh, 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 he, wrote, he wrote Fiqh his Sunnah, uh, the prayer book, the Siyan, the Hajj, all, all that. 
الشيخ سيد سابق says nothing authentic nothing authentic has been related uh, from the Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام concerning this question so we don't there is no reliable source authentic uh, rewire that the Prophet talked about that yes. however a great number of Sahaba and Tabi'i said that it is permissible even if someone uh, even if some of it finds its way to the throat even if some of the eye drops for some reason I don't know how uh, found its way uh, to the throat as the eyes are not a passageway to the stomach okay أقول قولي هذا وصفر الله العظيم لي ولكم Tobacco? Yeah, and they put here, in their uh, stuff like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're talking about normal people, uh, Abdul Aziz. We're not talking about... <laughs> what do we mean, Abdul Aziz? He's talking about the Copenhagen. Yeah, yeah. We are talking about smoking. normal people, Abdul Aziz. Copenhagen is cold. He's smoking. No, he's going his way to his He's painting his lips with the tobacco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put the tobacco like this. Yeah. 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 हम जब छोटे-छोटे थे ना तो हमने उनसे एक सवाल किया था ना कहे बहुत लंबा है सलाम अलैकुम अल्लाही वरहमतुल्लाह वी हैड आई एल गिव इट्स नेम सलाम अलैकुम अल्लाही वरहमतुल्लाह इस अल्लाह के सेट मुसाशर मुसरवा अल्लाह यानी मैं तो ये भी मैं खिपत से दम ना मैं दर्श नूल नहना तुकाहा वला वला ولكن مناولة الموضوعات بخفت الدم It's beautiful. Even Ramadan, alhamdulillah, is a good year. Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, ibarik lana fi ma baqiya min sha'ban wa yuballighna Ramadan, inshallah, and wa yaj'alna min al-taqa'ihi min al-nar, inshallah. We welcome today with our brother, alhamdulillah, he came to visit us, may Allah bless, inshallah. So anytime, inshallah, we're opening. Today, Dr. Muhammad is not in the mood. So inshallah, next week, Dr. Muhammad, he complete his... Uh, medical advice inshallah and uh, welcome anytime Wednesday between Maghrib and Dasha and we need to make a dua for the one who supports the food and he make a dua the one he alhamdulillah making the speaker our speaker today our guest inshallah Jazakumullah khair Barakallah fikum inshallah Rabbina ijma'na wa yakum bin jannah inshallah wa balighna ramadan wa jannah wa taqa'i wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh